Oh, Nate told me to be fun. We are in Athens for only 24 hours, so we are going to try and see as much of this city as we can. I'm vaping with my vaping. You're not, you don't do that. We don't I vape at the Parthenon. We don't do the vape, Katrina. That guy does. It's not us. So we are, uh, we're in front of the Parthenon on the Acropolis in Athens, Saturday morning. We got up early to beat the crowds. We did not beat the crowds. The crowds are with us. That's okay. Don't come to Greece in the summer. <laughs> no, do come to Greece do in the summer. Do come to Greece in the summer. Just set your expectations. I expected this, actually. I did too. Yeah. It's beautiful. This view is amazing. The sun is rising. There's clouds in the sky. Uh, so we've got a, a pretty cool sunrise. And but we're only here for 24 hours. We're here for a day before the rest of our trip. You'll have to see that all in a future episode. Cliffhangers. Bom, bom, bom. Yeah, that. Uh, so let's go do this. Okay. This is Weathers. Weathers the cat, he left. Just don't trip. <laughs> I won't trip. Yeah, there's real, like, the old rock is mixed in with the new walkways in some areas. Yes. My Birkenstocks might have not been the smartest choice in footwear up here. The marble is a little slippery. <laughs> How old is this former? This is a temple, right? This was dedicated to Athena. Athena, Athena. yeah. Athena. She's one of my favorites. She's the goddess of love. She loves me. Um, I, man, real old. Like, was, was this a couple hundred years BC? BC? Yeah, BC. Yeah, we're, we're not going to give you the most accurate history facts here. Way older than anything I think I've ever seen, right? Because this is like the birthplace of Western civilization is Greece. Rome's old too, right? But not this old. I'm old. Google, it's your friend. Your mom's my friend. This lookout looks very popular. I think everybody wants to go on this lookout, us included, well, braving the tourists. And the vlog, look at the vloggers. Vloggers everywhere. All, all over the place. I found everybody. People get all annoyed because I just want to like take a look. I'm like, tour guide, like, shock, dirtiest look just now. It's just really not easy tour guide. Easy tour guide, lady. Come on. It's really pretty. Uh, Share the view. Fantastic new point in the entire city. It looks like somebody poured something out of a cup. What? Maybe like a goddess of seven solar poured something out of a cup, and then that's what became Athens. Like the way that like the everything kind of flows and all of the. Why are you looking at me like I'm crazy? Did you do today? Dad, I hate that. It's a house. What? <laughs> Uh, I have lost Katrina. The uh, hell, where'd she go? Oh, she's right there. You can't complain about no wind. All we do is complain about wind. You can't do that. Do you see the horse up here? He got crushed, it looks like. It's amazing. Even that, his face looks like I'm getting crushed. It's just amazing that this stuff has lasted so long. Yeah. It's really old. Well, and you think about it being like up on the top of the mountain, right? So there's nothing breaking like the storms and wind and whatever else comes through. Fires. The fires in Greece have been really bad this summer. We can smell it and taste it in the air. Yeah. It's really sad. It's hazy out in the distance, too. Yeah. yeah. I would like to see a play here at this theater. Can we do that? Probably not on this trip. So I have to come back? Maybe sometime in the future. Active theater still though, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, there's like stage, like a Props. set. It's like a prop, like a prop. tree. Yes. The theater of Dionysus. Very yeah. crowded to try and get a shot of it though. No, but it looks really neat. I would love to see something here. Like Slayer. No? Or like... Um, Primus? Something lighter. What's some Greek theater? 
What? Like, is there a Greek play? It's a Greek play. Like, oh, like the, Il like the Iliad? Is that a play? It's a book. Didn't they make a play out of it? You read the book, I watched the play. <laughs> That guy's trying to start a war over there. You see him? Yes, he is. Balance, balanga. She's gonna kill that kid. He gave him a spear, so at least it's a fair fight. Listen, I don't condone it. Or javelin. But I understand it. I like it. It is. It's like a. It's like sad summer music. Like a Greek tragedy. Pretty sure these pigeons are trying to eat this child behind us. Do pigeons eat kids? I don't blame them. I typed in famous Greek play, yeah. and all it's giving me is Greek soccer players. That's not what we're looking for. A lot of Americans Marca. here. A lot of Americans here. I swear to God. Segway tour. It, Segway tour. This is my I ruined her Segway tour rant. I'm sorry. We're stopped really quickly to get a little snack going. Sun's coming out. I'm gonna get sunburned if I don't apply some sunscreen soon, but we wanted to start with a few little snacks. Very common street food in this region. We've had these in Turkey before. They're yep. called simits in Turkey. They call them gluris here. Something like that, yeah. Start with a she seemed annoyed when we asked her, but we were, she we're kind trying. She did, right? Yeah. She didn't want to tell She was nice at the end, but she was like annoyed that like, I think you called it a simit. She's like, this is not turkey. Sorry. Um, I don't love sesame seeds to begin with, but I do remember really liking the simits in Turkey. This looks different though. It looks skinnier. It is, and it's fine. It's a little dry, a little bland. Would you like a bite? I feel like I need to dip it in something. Raspberry jelly. I don't even know what I would dip that in. So I was looking for a bugatta because I've never had that before, but I don't think they had it here. I so see we went it. with, oh god, it's hot. A ham and cheese pie. Pies are a big deal here. Gotta get it really close. So this is some ham and cheese pie. It's very hot, very flaky. Oh, it's like flat piece of ham and a flat piece of cheese. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, come on, be nice. In their defense, it's multiple flat pieces of ham. It has good flavor, but the dough to filling ratio is completely off. Technically, it's a cinnamon roll, not a donut. A very dry donut cinnamon roll. Again, it has good flavor, but I think these may have been here from yesterday. Four out of ten. If it could be warmed up, maybe it would take away the staleness. Four out of ten. Ding. This was built back in 334 BC, which like my brain has a hard time even computing that. And it's still pretty well intact, actually. you can buy this pass that gets you into a lot of the different sites here and around the Acropolis. This is the Roman Agora, 50 BC roughly, that time period, commissioned in the days of Julius Caesar. This is a, a gate for Athena. Athena was very popular. They built her lots of stuff, I get it. Uh, so we're just gonna walk around and tour it and see what there is to see. I like this building. I think I like this more than the Parthenon. What, really? Well, look at how intact it is. Like, it's it's almost like they rebuilt it at some point, you know, A.D. I like the city. I like the culture. I like the food. I like all the citrus trees, and uh -huh. it looks deserty. you know. Olive trees. Olive trees everywhere. And the cats. I, I'm like, a, and the cats. 
I'm a big fan of Greece. I'm enjoying this. Me too. Good. So we're walking into the ancient Athenian agora. Agora meaning like gathering space or like an open space a where market they market area. Yeah, they had like town hall meetings, trials, uh, theater plays here in this big open area. So kind of a multi-purpose area. From way back in the day. Some of the stuff you look at it and it just it looks like Disneyland because it looks like you know a remade statue or something, but it's original. It's like 2,000 years old. That's a good way to describe it. It does look like Disneyland. A lot of headless things around here. Some of these marble statues, the detailing is just crazy that it's still here. Do you see this ancient, this amazingly well-preserved Athenian telephone booth? Oh my god, they have one? Here? They have one here. Let's take a look. Get me with this one. I want to remember this one. This is my favorite so far. school back in the day. It's kind of cool to see it now firsthand. This is all stuff that they found from a pregnant wealthy woman that was buried somewhere here. All of this stuff, like her jewelry and everything that she had on was from 850 BC. Like that's probably one of the oldest things we've seen so far here, right? Like that's pretty crazy. All the heads are up here. Nice. We are seeing sights. There's a sight. That is a sight. Well, not really. Well, kind of. You hungry yet? Yes. What do you want? I'd actually really like to find like a traditional Greek salad. Right. Like with no lettuce, just Greek salad. What if I told you I know where the best Greek salad is? I did all my thorough and accurate research. I cross-referenced different websites. I even opened up the nightmare that is TripAdvisor. It opens the app. Oh my God, that's like the loudest, the smallest person I've Whoa, ever seen in my life. What I'm trying to tell you is, I think I know where the best Greek salad in all of Athens is. Okay, well, let's go find it. Let's do it. I'll be the judge of that. restaurant that Nate found that allegedly has one of the best Greek salads in the city and it's called Aspro Aloko, the white horse. So we'll see, we'll see. I have high standards. I'm a tough judge, I'm a tough critic. We're off the beaten path a little bit. This isn't super touristy. It's like very narrow, old school, love it. I have high hopes. I'm very excited. It all looks really good. The bright colors and all nice fresh. Was that the best Greek salad ever? Eh, oh. eh, I don't uh, know. Okay. I'm dying, I think. It's 91 degrees out here, Fahrenheit. And we're walking to the fernac fernicular, fernac fernacular, fernacular, so that we don't have to walk up the mountain or the hill. But to get to that, you have to walk up the mountain or the hill. But this has an even better view of the city than the Parthenon does. Do you know that the best views come from the hardest climbs? I quit. <laughs> I love how we chose 
guess where you stand based on if there's room for children or not. You're like, go here so we can give you the child. <laughs> Hear that? So we made it to the top. Vernacular was quick, easy, painless. You can also walk up here, which, dear God, I wasn't gonna make Nate do that this time. But the view up here is amazing. Like as soon as I walked up here, I started geeking out. You can see everything from up here. It's way higher than where we were earlier today with the Parthenon. It's like a 360 degree view around all of Athens. So we've walked a lot, we've ridden the vernacular, and now there's a dessert we want to go try before dinner. Just wait and see. Okay, balls. Downhill is way better. So apparently we have to wait 20 minutes for these balls. So we went to, I'm probably going to butcher this, to get some lucumades, mares, lucumades, something like that. They're basically fried dough balls and you can get a number of different types of toppings on top of them. Toppings on top of them. So we went with the traditional honey and cinnamon and then I went and got a little crazy and got some salted caramel. So let's see. Smell the cinnamon. I'm not a huge honey fan so I'm not sure how this is going to go. So That's pretty damn good. It's got like the perfect amount of crispiness on the outside. I thought they were gonna be softer, like a donut hole, but they're crunchy. The honey is like super sweet but not overpowering, and then just like a little bit of cinnamon on it. Okay, these are really good. You're gonna really like these. Salted caramel, this looks a little intense. We're not even camping. They're super hot. Oh God. Hot. They're really hot. Super decadent. Like I can probably only have like one or two or three of those. Very fresh, worth the wait. We waited about 20 minutes. If I had to choose, I would go with the original. Cinnamon, honey, fantastic. It's very dark. Night, night has come to Athens. It's very dark and we are kind of, looks like a sketch area. <laughs> yeah, we're walking down Dead End Street. There's all these people in restaurants back here and we're going that way. We're finding dinner. Let's go get some food. As per usual. Time to eat again. For our final meal in Athens, very quick trip, we weren't feeling super hungry, so we came to a place called Street Sulaki, but we're sitting down, so it had good reviews, so we'll see how everything goes. Got some grilled feta cheese. Bon appetit, but in Greece. Well, that was Athens in a day. Perfect timing. Oh, I know, of course. So what'd you think, did you have a good day? I did have a good day. I had never been here before, and I feel like now, 
I've seen Athens. Yeah, I mean, you right? could spend a week here easily. Sure. But we had a day and we made the most out of it. It was a long day. I'm exhausted. It's tough. But I had a lot of fun. But you need to get some energy because we have some things that we're doing This now. is like not even the trip. This no. is just the day before the trip. This is like the prequel to the actual trip. Subscribe if you want to. Wait, wait, wait for the next video. <laughs> You'll see us in Greece a bunch more. And uh, thanks for watching. It's raining. Oh my and, god, it's raining. Yeah, we brought that with oh, us. Shit.